Ladies and gentlemen, the polar vortex is back. It is coming back this week. I know I'm not looking forward to this. <laughs> it wasn't even fun the last time. If you remember, this is when a big part of the Midwest went down to like minus 33 and these outrageous temperatures and it brought a lot of snow and freezing weather. Well, it's coming back this week and it will impact um, uh, the, nor the Midwest and also the Northeast, just like it did before. So this is when there's a blast that comes down from the Arctic and that air lingers over our atmosphere, bringing down temperatures and just creating a miserably cold atmosphere. You know, I remember the last one. In fact, the last one showed up around the same time we had the blood moon in January. And by the way, we're going to have another blood moon this coming January. So here we go again, polar vortex. Here she comes next week, which is this coming week. Now, today where I am, it's definitely windier and it's cold. So it, it is just makes us such a miserable, you know, and a lot of people don't realize people die just as much from winter weather as it does from something like a, a hurricane. You know, it impacts millions of people. And if you remember the last time several people did freeze to death and died, you know, from these temperatures. So we've had some colder than average weather in the past month here in Michigan, but now a stronger blast of cold is looking to give Michigan a glancier blow. Two lobes of the polar vortex will swing just east of Michigan and put us in the Arctic deep freeze for several days. And that, that's this coming week. Remember, the polar vortex is a semi-permanent air circulation, most of the time centered over the North Pole. Occasionally, the polar vortex will get pushed out of its typical location and shoved southward. Sometimes that movement of the polar region puts the center of the vortex over Russia or Asia, occasionally Ontario and the Northeast US is a destination for the wandering circulation. Yes, and I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. And some of you may remember that's when I lost my furnace. And boy, that was miserable. But, you know, since then we have a new furnace. So it, we won't have to endure it quite so bad as we did the last time. But the whole circulation doesn't often move so far south. And its center near Michigan, it will uh, case next week a few lobes or dangling pieces of the polar vortex will drop south to be positioned just east of Michigan. Here's the forecast for the upper atmosphere. It shows the lobes of the polar vortex positioned just east of Michigan next Wednesday. So if you look on the map, you see all of this in the blue. These are the areas that will get hit. So, uh, I'm, I'm cold just talking about it. All right. So you see the blue circulation area of the Northeast. And you can see Michigan is right in the center of this. And they will pretty much take the brunt of it this time around. With a cold blob of air in the upper uh, atmosphere next Wednesday, it will be cold here on the ground too. 
So all of the areas that you see in the purple and red. Wow. Wednesday afternoon will feel more like mid-January than mid-December, but there are still signs this may be a short-lived Arctic outbreak. The long-range weather forecast um, experts on NOAA continue to show a warm-up in late December. In fact, today's 8 to 14-day forecast is even more bullish than yesterday on a mild end to December. All right, the various models I looked at are also trying to show a tendency towards warmer temperatures by late December. Yeah, well, that sounds good, but we still got to live through next week. <laughs> we still got to live through next week. Oh. Okay, so I think what we are seeing in December with big temperature swings up and down is going to be the theme for much of the winter. So if you don't like any one type of winter weather, you won't be stuck with it for long. So this is the beginning. This polar vortex will show up several times. Sometimes it will even show up in the spring. Okay. So, oh man, I am not looking forward to this at all. Mm, painful. But y'all, please tell me what you think. Please leave your comment and subscribe. Don't forget to hit on the notification bell. And I'll see you on the next video. Peace, family.